Hello and welcome to the first Cream Family Vlog of 2024. We're here in King's Cross Station where we're just about to go and have our picture taken. Oh, I'm trying to navigate the same time. Uh, have our picture taken with the platform 9 and 3 portal. We are going to do some really fun stuff today, some surprises along the way, so please stick about. And uh, we are here today, it's half term, we're here in a daddy daughter day. We're in London, and what are we going to see tonight? The so we won category A tickets in the Matilda, music, Matilda Musical Lottery, so we're going to see that tonight. But today we're going to go see Power from Night Big Quarters, we're going to go on a bit of a tour of the Great Fire of London, um, we're going to go on the London Eye, with some more surprises as well. So yeah, please stick around. If you're enjoying the video, please like and subscribe. And yeah, let's come along. Oh, so they carved that out of stone. How cool is that? This what? They're right, yes, you're right, there are boobies on some of them. Yeah. Lego flower wall is spectacular. It's unbelievable. Who is it, pups? Really? Oh yeah. Look what we found. Sorry Matilda for Matilda the Musical, that's what we're seeing tonight. Look at this. You want that one? Oh my goodness. Yeah, the production value of the theatre and the stage is incredible. Yeah, we're going to go back to our seats now. Look at this part. So just really quickly, we're going to fast forward to the end of the vlog and I'll tell you what, you're going to want to stay to the end to see what happened here because a lot of drama happened, didn't it, Pops? Yes, a lot of drama and drama and drama. <laughs> so we're going to go back to the vlog now, but make sure you stick around and subscribe because it gets crazy. What are we looking for, Pops? I hope to see where they start, where Bones tries to go through. Yeah. We can get our picture taken of us doing that. Let's have a look, yeah. We found it pops, didn't we? Yeah. We're nearly at the front of the queue. The queue is massive. The queue's really big, isn't it? I'm not sure. Are you going to do the grip? We have a great Gryffindor. Yeah. Yeah, that's Gryffindor. Well done. Say so thank you. So Poppy's been, what have you been studying at school? The Great Fair of London. And so this is St Bartholomew's Gatehouse, which we've made a detour to come and see. So this is one of the oldest surviving um, buildings from the Great Fire of London. Um, and uh, Poppy, it's in, it's in your book, isn't it? And what did you make at school? We made it, uh, we made the house of it. Yeah, you made a model of it. So now we've brought you to the real place. Quick pit stop outside St Paul's Cathedral. We're having a little McDonald's, aren't we? You got Happy Meal. It's a lovely McDonald's. It's really nice. But yeah, then off to St Paul's Cathedral. So who built the building in front of us? Um, the Christopher Wren. So Christopher Wren. So that must mean we're outside St Paul's Cathedral. So Sir Christopher Wren, sorry. Sir Christopher Wren was tasked to rebuild London. And uh, this is one of the buildings famously that he built. St Paul's Cathedral. We're having a great tour of London, aren't we? Yeah! We've seen St Bartholomew's Gatehouse, St Paul's Cathedral, and now we're going to have a nice little walk to Pudding Lane. From Pudding Lane, we're going to get the tube to the London Eye. Then after the London Eye, we're going to walk by Westminster, um, House of Parliament, Buckingham Palace, to the M&M Store! Yeah! And then we're going to the music. 
They really do go to Matilda the Musical. Because all the houses not here in 1666. No, these all burnt down. So none of these, all these buildings had to be rebuilt. St Paul's Cathedral is a really cool building, isn't it? Really impressive. What do you think of it? I love it. It's cool, isn't it? Where are we going to go now? Pudding Lane. Yeah. Where the fire started. Where the fire started. And how, where, did it, where did it start? In the bakery. Yeah. You've really enjoyed learning about it, haven't you? Yeah. So you just got the tube quickly. It's a monument station. Just walked out and I just went, right, let me have a look for where the monument is. Oh, yeah. That'll be it. So you can get tickets to go all the way to the top. Well, you can still go all the way to the top. Just go have a look at it, pups. Oh, sorry, I forgot you being a frog. Come on, Gorgie. Let's have a look. So this is the monument to the Great Fire of London that they built, so we would never forget it. Dad, I'm a frog. Sorry, I forgot to call you froggy. Oh, look. Restaurant's called the, fire, the Hydrant. Look at this. This was designed by Robert Hooke in consultation with Sir Christopher Wren and it was built in 1671 to 1677. Look at that. Oh, look, they carved that out of stone. How cool is that? This what? There are, yes, you're right, there are boobies on some of them, yeah. But yeah, it's really tall, isn't it? The top from here. I know. Should we go find Pudding Lane then? Yes! Come on then. Yes! Somewhere around here is. Ah, oh, here we go, it is. This is it. This is Pudding Lane. This is it here. Right here, Pops, is where the bakery would have been where the Great Fire of London started. That's a road. This is a road, yeah. Yeah, go be Gorgie. Should we get a picture? He said, near this site stood the shop belonging to Thomas Farriner, the King's Baker, in which the Great Fire of September 1666 began. So it was on this road. How cool is that? And just a, just a Greg's in the background. The irony. There's a fact about it, but the King actually wasn't doing it on. He did it on purpose, but didn't want to turn the fire off, so he just kept it on what made the fire happen. He didn't know where the fire was going to happen, but actually it spread. And then he decided he was in, he was upstairs trying to have a nap, but then he heard the fire and tried to go downstairs and get out. And he found the fire in his kitchen, tried to get out, but he couldn't. He tried to climb back onto the roof and and on someone else's roof and yeah. then he tried to get out of that roof and that's how we got out of the house. And that was Thomas Farriner? Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. So this building here is called Farriner's House. After all the trouble he caused, he gets a house named after him. But yeah, we were just looking because I'm sure that I saw on a TV show there was um, like a plaque somewhere on the floor that says exactly where the, bake the um, oven in the bakery would have been. but. Apparently I can't see it, but that's pretty cool to come to Pudding Lane. Uh, that's just the address number. So what we're going to do, Pops, we're going to go back to Monument Station and we're going to get the tube to the London Eye. Yeah, then we've got to go on it. Yeah. And the we're going to go round on it. Yeah. And it's going to be so much fun. And it's going to be so much fun. We're going to have so much fun on the London Eye. Yeah, we've done so much good stuff today, haven't we? Yeah. This is London's burning, London's burning, fetch the engines, fetch the engines, Fi fire, 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 pour on water, pour on water. So look, these benches all sing other words to the song. This is London, no, because it goes London's burning, London's burning, fetch, fetch the engines, fetch, fetch the engines, pour on fire, 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 pour on water, pour on water. This is my lucky music. Okay.
Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Pour on water. Pour on water. Well done. That's so good. Right, let's go back to the station now, yeah? You do know that, you've been singing it loads, haven't you? Yeah, we've also got a second song, what we learned, but it's not about the Great Problem. No. We'll have to try and count how many trains we've taken today, Pops. We've taken loads. Mind the gas, please. Mind the gas. What's the gap? Well done. Mind the gap. Do you have a little seat over here, Popsy? This is Monument. Oh dear, honey. Very lucky us, we found our spots. Are you having fun there, Pops? Yeah! Do you like spinning around? He's managed to stay upright. Uh, right, this is uh, us now, uh, Embankment. Let's go. We walked out, got the train uh, Embankment. And what game are we playing now? You see the London Eye first. Oh, I did it! Oh, no, you won the game! Oh, my goodness. So we're here on Merlin Gold Pass tickets. Gold Pass has got us fast track entrance. So we're just right here. What are we about to do now, Popsy? Eye. Yeah. So excited. What's that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it wasn't much of a queue today, but the fast track for the gold pass, um, and I assume the platinum pass, is a good perk nonetheless. But yeah, we've done quite a lot of walking today, we're on about 8,000 steps, we're going to have a little rest, aren't we, Popsy? Yeah, okay, having a good time. From here, we're going to walk over to Big Ben, and we're going to have the Parliament, Buckingham Palace, and we're now going to the M&M store before we find something to eat. I finally finished the day in the Cambridge Theatre to see Matilda the Musical. So excited for that. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, drop a comment. If you've made it this far, should we ask people to, to drop, drop a comment? What words do we choose? Princess Poppy. If you're still watching this, still watching at this point of the video, comment Princess Poppy. <laughs> We're on. We're here. We're on the London Eye. A oh, nice little well, well earned sit down. We're over the River Thames, it's just down there. It's cool, isn't it? I'm going to go all the way up there. No, no, you don't need to be on here. So we're quite high up now. We're not quite at the top, still got a bit more to go. There's, West, there's uh, Westminster and, Buckin and Big Ben down there. Froggy, yep, yeah, sorry Froggy. It's a beautiful view up here. You see so far in the distance. Cheeky, cheeky. So just straight there, it's Buckingham Palace. No, look, look where I'm pointing. Right there. There we go. I'm going to hold the camera very still there. So the law of the uh, M&M store has uh, defeated Poppy's appetite to see Buckingham Palace in Westminster. So we're going straight to the M&M store now, aren't we? We're in Waterloo Station. We're having a look to see if we can see a Matilda the Musical poster. But I haven't seen one yet, or Blanny. But yeah, we're off now to the M&M store. Look what we found. Barry Matilda for Matilda the Musical. That's what we're seeing tonight. So we're back out now in Leicester Square. We've got some music. I don't know what they're setting up over there. There's not a premiere on tonight. But look. Oh, the Argyle film. That does look good. But yeah. And now we're off to the M&M store. Just up here on the right. Here we are at Poppy's highlight of the day. What's this next shop? That's right, let's go. Look at this. You want that one? Oh my goodness. I don't think it'll fit in your basket or my backpack. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so what can you do? Oh yeah. 
So we've just chosen our pictures. We're going to just pay on here. And we've got a picture of, if it's going to focus, picture of Poppy and I on the London Eye, London logo, and Poppy and Daddy. So I think the next thing we do, if we can focus, is the next thing we do, I've been paid, is we choose the colours, and then they come out of there, and then we're all done. So they've gone in the, they've gone in the magic machine now, pups. They've gone in the special machine. Oh. Can you hear them coming out? Wow. I think I can see some. They're going to have your face on it. And daddy's. And mine. Yeah. This is... We've got our personalised M&M's. They look good, didn't they, pups? Did it? Oh, that's good. We're going to have a look now in the Lego store. But it's quite a long queue. But that's all good. Maybe it'll mean that it'd be nice and quiet. Oh, look, I've never noticed those birds up there. They're really cool. Mary Poppins statue. No, they're real birds. No, they're not real. But they look really cool, don't they? They might be, but they might have a little bit of a 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 that was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't believe you had that. Look, Lego Gringotts. I'm not going to pretend I know what it is, but I think it's Harry Potter, isn't it? Yes, Harry Potter Gringotts. Gringotts Harry Potter, that's cool. And look, Lego Big Ben. That would take ages in your ear. Can you believe that? Oh, look, that's what we've got. That's the one Daddy built. Look at you in your Lego car. So, wave pups. So you got a couple of stamps from the stand over there. A couple of stamps of Bob's passport. And we're just going to have a little wander upstairs and see what else we can find. Look pups, look. Pups, up there, look. It's a dragon from Harry Potter. Oh, and look. Ron and Harry in the car. Top of Big Ben. Yeah, it's a Lego bus. Oh, it's a Valentine's Day bus, pups, because it says love. Oh, and Shakespeare. Yeah, it's William Shakespeare. Oh, no, that's okay. We just have a look. Sorry, you know, you're okay. You're okay. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that would have taken so long to build, wouldn't it? Just look here for me. Oh, checking the likeness. Sorry. Oh, that's a good one. You're welcome, have a good one. Thank you. Look, Harry Potter here. Oh my goodness. I don't fancy carrying that around for the rest of the day. We'll put it on your birthday list. I love that Lego roller coaster. And the office, the US office mind you, but still. That's really cool. It's a really good shop. That's one that's definitely on my list to build. It's a Lego 100 camera. Really want to build that. And so is, oh, they're back. look at the back of the Disney Castle Pops. You got all the characters in there. Oh, I think I definitely need to get that. Where's Belle? Oh, I don't know. Not too sure. But that's really cool. Go on there, Pops. That Lego flower wall is spectacular. It's unbelievable. Who is it, Pops? Really? Oh, yeah. That is really cool, isn't it? Do you want a picture with them, Pops? So, a couple of hours now until the show starts. Poppy and I are making our way to the Prince of Wales pub, which is here, which is just a completely arbitrary pub. Ten years ago, on mine and Kim's first date, we just happened to stumble across and we had a meal in there. Maybe we just had a drink in there, I'm not sure. I think I was quite drunk. But uh, yeah, ten years later, we've not been here since. I just managed to find it on my Google location. So let's go in.
So Bobby's currently having a chat with Kim uh, on the phone. But look, this is the pub in here. This is the Prince of Wales. It's a lovely little pub. I could, well, I say I can remember, but I remember sort of being over there somewhere quite drunk with Kim on our first date 10 years ago. And now we're married, and I'm here with my almost six year old daughter on the way to the West End to see Matilda. Yeah, do you want to wave the camera, pups? Wave. No, she's fully engrossed in a chat with Kim and Floss. But yeah, got my drink, got my M&M's bag, got this blooming backpack I've been lugging around all day. Dear oh dear. But yeah, right, I'm just going to grab the drink and then see where we go from here. So for some reason my phone just has no mobile data, which is making life very, very easy, as you can imagine. Um, but through after about 20 minutes of searching, we found Matilda the Musical. So we're here now. That should just not have been as difficult as it was, but for some reason the mobile date is down around here. But here we go. Matilda the musical Popsy. Bobby's a little bit worried about Mrs. Trunchbull. But that's okay, I've we said she's an actress. Seats. Yeah, we've got the, the furthest seats, yeah. Yeah. We keep seeing these going around, these tuk-tuks. They're great fun, don't they? Can you see the poster from the building in the musical Can you, what, that, that one? Yeah, I can see that one, but I can't see them in like here. Oh, right. We might be, because we skipped Buckingham Palace and Westminster, it's, it's 5.37, it doesn't start till 7 o'clock. So, I don't, know, I don't know if that's too early. I don't know if I can sit in there for an hour and a half. Um, We'll have a look, we'll see, we'll see, we'll come back. But it's really cool, isn't it? So we're in. We're a little bit early, so we're just waiting for them to open. But it's lovely. Look at this. This is us in here, Pops. We're here. This is so cool, Pops, isn't it? Why is there so books around? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is amazing. What do you think of it, Pops? This is incredible, this is well made. This is so good, isn't it? This is well made. And it starts in about half an hour. Look, this. So this is, the, this is the front. And look, it goes all the way, pups, look. Not only does it go there, but it also, there's another one up there as well. But the theatre, the production value of the theatre and the stage is incredible. Yeah, we're going to go back to our seats now. So we are Q33 and 34, that's here. Probably's got a little booster seat. Let's go. Two hours later. Look at this, Pops. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Woohoo! Was that good, pups? So we're gonna get out here. Oh, so I wish the uh, euphoria of the last clip you saw was maintained currently. But uh, we got all the way across London to Marlborough, and to find out that the trains to White Parkway cancelled. No way, absolutely no way, you can get to White Parkway. So we had to come back across London to Euston. Um, to get a train to Coventry and from Coventry we've got a hope is taxis that can take us to Warwick Parkway and then we drive home. The problem is the train to Coventry doesn't get in until one o'clock in the morning. That's before we've even got a train, uh, a taxi to Warwick Parkway um, and then driven, driven home. The problem is this is the first time, normally I drive to London, I always drive to London, I haven't got trains for years. Um, and this is the first time I was like, no, you know what, I'm going to trust the trains, bought a rail card, three year rail card, trust the trains, take them there. The problem is, the first time I've been, oh, it's a family challenge, I'm not going to sweat, but uh, yeah, it's not been good. So it's going to be a late night, we're quite tired. But on a happy note, how was the musical? Good. 
I think the thing is, is that kind of dampened the mood. If you asked, if you asked us tomorrow, it's probably going to be very different. But I, I thought the musical was spectacular. It was world class. It was unbelievable. I loved it. Um, and then getting the pink tuk tuk was fun as well. And Poppy's very very tired. He's currently five to eleven. Um, yeah, I'm goodness, it's half term because yeah, it's not be fun uh, on, a, on a normal on a normal weeknight. But it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna get home. It's all fun. So we're back in Work Parkway Station. It is what time is it? So we're back in Work Parkway Station. It is 1:32 in the morning. Um, oh my goodness! So we had we got to Coventry about one o'clock this morning. Um, we got a, a 40 quid taxi ride from Coventry to Work Parkway. Kim, bless her, booked a taxi. When we got there, the taxi driver called me, said he's outside. When we got there, I was like, where is he? He called him and then, oh sorry, I picked someone else up. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, the lovely gentleman over there is gonna to subscribe to our channel. We had a great chat about YouTube. Poppy's in the car, she's slept the whole journey um, uh, on the train. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely shattered. We've had a great time. We have had a really good time, haven't we, Pops? Yeah. Really, Matilda music was amazing. Yeah, my favorite character was Matilda. That's good. Cheers, buddy. Hey, he subscribed. Good man. Good man. Good man. Thank you very much. Take care. <laughs> See you later. Oh, what a legend. What an absolute legend. Yeah, I one taxi driver and subscribed to. Hey, that means we have 30 million subscribers. Not quite 30 million. If we could get to 30 million, that would be amazing. How many? Oh, I think it's about 2,000. That we've got 3,000, but everyone... all of this mess is worth that one subscriber. And I tell you what, if you're watching this video to the uh, you got to this point in this video, thank you so much. But if you can do us the massive favor because it's 1 34 in the morning, we've still got the journey left to go to get home. Please subscribe, yeah, yeah please and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, yeah, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. We have had an amazing day. Yeah. Really, really good day. And I'll definitely, definitely do it again. Yeah, we'll definitely do it again, but in car this time. In the car. So, yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching. And, yeah, please hit that subscribe button. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.